Welcome, Illumineers. I'm your host, Rush, and today we're taking a look at a very interesting deck coming out of Ruby and Sapphire. The Ruby and Sapphire Ramp Popsicle deck, I guess is what it's being called, is $359.19. A few prominent YouTubers have also released some deck lists on it, so I'm kind of mixing and matching based on what they have played and played out some pretty interesting games with it. It's running a 60 card deck, primarily Sapphire with 36 to Ruby's 24 cards, and it's running 15 uninkables, which generally isn't too much of a problem given the fact that we have Fishborn Quill in the deck. With the cards, we have four co or two copies of the Queen of Hearts coming in, utilizing her rush capability. Four copies of Gramatala for early game rush, also an excellent combination with Teeth and Ambition to help remove her from the board and remove early aggressive options. The interesting, but I found quite useful Noi to drop, giving a resist one and ward when you have an item in play is incredibly useful for a singer for one jump ahead. Judy Hops, we have three copies. A uh, great option if you don't get into your Hiram and Nick Wild combination to help you find it. Hiram is the main core of the deck with Popsicle in order to draw a ridiculous amount of cards when it enters plays and quests, and then you get them back with Nick Wild. I almost want to run four copies of this. I don't know where I, what I would cut in order to make that happen, but four copies is what I like to see. The Nick Wild gets you back Popsicle in order for you to put it back on the board with Hiram. It's an excellent curve because you can play Hiram on four, use Nick Wild on five, and use your extra lore in order to get Popsicle back onto the board and then quest with Hiram to get an additional two cards and the one off Popsicle. So that's three cards in that turn, which is excellent. We all know based on Rapunzel, that three cards is an incredible card draw. And you could do that pretty much every turn. We have three copies of Maui to help mid game threats. Lady Tremaine is an excellent removal option. We have two copies of her. We have two copies of Gaston. It allows you to get into your engine and find answers to problems. We have two copies of Scar in the deck, just because we need more board wide options. The lack of an early game in this deck makes it so aggro and mid range decks can get a little out of control without a way to kind of clear the board. Two copies of Hades as an excellent targeted removal. The two copies of Tamatoa is a great way with how many items we can get on the board in order to get a huge amount of lore generation on board. I've seen this go as high as eight lore in some of my games. Um, closing them out with Tamatoa. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those. It wasn't a really good game. The second I got Tamatoa on the board, the opponent quit out. We have four copies of Maleficent because it's an excellent nine drop when you can ramp to it, allowing you to target or removal something. Getting into our songs, we have four copies of Teeth and Ambition. Again, an excellent option to combine with Gramatala, adding her to ink, and then removing some really early game threats off the board. Three copies of One Jump the Head because Ramp is amazing. Two copies of Let It Go is some additional targeted removal that we can sing. We have four copies of Be Prepared. Without this card, this deck would probably not be viable. The ability to clear out the board and leave our items down to help reset the threats is incredibly good. And then as far as items, the mainstay of the deck, we're running three copies of Shield of Virtue, four copies of Popsicle, and four copies of Fishbone Quill. Shield is mainly in here for another one cost item, but it ability to ready something, um, quite often I'll use it with things like the two drop Queen of Hearts to clear out some low drops is really good and should not be slept on. Four copies of Popsicle is in here for its card draw, but it's, two, it's ability to banish itself and remove up to two damage can be quite useful. Don't forget when using this card to banish it if you do not have an item in your discard to be able to put it back on the board if you play a Nick. Um, I played Nick in one of these games and did not have Popsicle in the discard and forgot about it. And I should have banished the one I had on the field first in order to put it back so I could draw another card. I believe the, my opponent even called me out and said, whoops. Um, and then last up we have Fishborn Quill, which is probably one of the best ramp cards in the game as long as you have the cards to fulfill it, which the Nick Popsicle engine or the Hiram Popsicle engine definitely puts on board for us. So as always, guys, leave any comments down below. Please do me a favor, leave a comment with what deck you'd like me to try next. We have a lot of interesting deck combinations. I'd make, like to make sure that we're getting the ones that you guys want to see done first. 
I've put out some of the popular ones now. The next one I'm doing is probably going to be either Amethyst Ruby or probably Amber Ruby Tempo. So we'll see. But if you'd like to, me to change it up and do something different, please just leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you think. Also, deck list will be in the video description below as well and a Dreamborn link as well with the most up-to-date version that I'm running. Let's get into the video. All right, looks like we're going second. We are going to, we don't have any of our engine but Fishboard Quill. Keep the Judy Hops. We're gonna get rid of the high drops because we don't need them right now. I generally don't keep removal in my opening hand unless I absolutely know I need it. And Noi just really isn't important in the engine. It's just a fun card. That's what I like to say. Perfect. Really couldn't ask for a better hand. We could get the be prepared later on, but. Okay, so. He's got queen. Plan here is to ink a quill, play out a popsicle. Okay, it looks like we're playing a seven doors variant. I wonder what their off ink is. I've seen pretty much every ink color steal. Okay. We'll run with doors. I don't know why they didn't quest there. So for our two drop, the plan here is going to ink Judy Hops since we have our engine. And we'll play out a one jump ahead. Strength, add a dock. He's the one that reduced costs, okay. So we need these. Fishborn's what we're playing this turn, so we have to get rid of probably the teeth and ambition. And we will get the one jump ahead. Here's where the strength of this deck comes in. We will play out. Actually, it might honestly be better. Yeah. yeah this is definitely better. Problems. Then we put our turn card draw engine online next turn. Okay, we will ink Noe this turn. Could have waited on that. this turn as well.
And he gets rid of a strength. So we need to be able to do four at a time to kill him. Or we can just play that. <laughs> that is also a good option. All right, so. How do we want to do this? So. Best him. We will pop the popsicle. We will best him. Drop the Lady Tremaine. Then... Play out the Popsicle. It's a nice 9 drop for next turn if we need it. I think I'm pretty good there. I do like this deck. There's a lot of interaction with it. He's questing for two. I think I want to just keep drawing. see options. I think the other Fishborn Quill. Ink. One jump ahead. There's six more ink to do something with. So let's go ahead and play Gaston. Put Hades on top. Put a Hades in our hand. Quest with the other ones. The Hiram card in Trinjin is incredibly good. Like we thought Rapunzel was good. It does take a lot more cards. That's effectively the what you're using the entire blue side of your deck for, or sapphire side of your deck. Okay, so Kronk. It's a big boy. He's got like the Tinkerbell style effect. So I think I'm gonna drop that. I'm probably getting ready to flow right now. Kind of got this game in the bag. And we'll pass. Opponent won't have anything to do. Just kind of wanted to see the last couple cards. I'll we'll probably just drop that and pass. Oh, quest for his two. Give him a well played back. Thanks. One. And we'll give him a well played. We will quest it up. GG. That was a fun game. Let's do another one. All right, and we're going first. All right, so we got the Nick. Might want to keep shield in case we don't get a popsicle for turn one. The teeth and ambition is also really good. We will keep the shield so that we can use it later in game. Grandma Tall and Teeth and Ambition to take out any aggro options. So we're just missing the Hiram. We will ink the Judy. We're gonna play Shield of Virtue. Do a nice greetings to our opponent.
that we're pouring into emerald. I'm not a big fan of seeing both be prepared this early. So he didn't play. And he will drop the Gramatala. Just because we need inkables. Still looking at Emerald. More Emerald. Hmm. We're going to have to get rid of Nick here. the Grimitala. Now it would be best for him if he knows it to take Flynn and send it into Grimitala because of how popular Teeth and Ambition is going to be with that combination in this deck. But he might not know that. He might just not want to sacrifice Grimitala to get us an additional ink before our turn. But we are getting into a very difficult spot here in a second. So he doesn't have any. What's he doing? He's looking at Prince John for some reason. He must be reading the card. He's taking a really long time to read Prince John. I'll read it with him. John has Ward, one Strength, two Willpower, two Lore Generation, three Cost on Inkable. And whenever your opponent discards one or more cards, you may draw a card for each card they discarded. Pretty strong. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wow. Really? Whoops. What, did, what do you mean, whoops? I don't, I don't know what you mean. What did you do? It's a good three drop. Um. Hmm. We're going to quill a be prepared because we don't really have a lot of options there. And then... Hmm. Maybe he meant to sing like Sudden Chill or something. Oh, we're going to need to get into our late game. Only because he has lore. Ooh, I don't know what to do here. We'll just do that because we can't target since so we can't target him by an o'clock by in time stretching the clock whatever weird combination you want to use yep yeah, i figured that was going to happen again this is one of the worst matchups for this and we did not get a good start Play down the GD hops and we'll bounce the shield so we can. He will ink Noi. Pass. Interesting. So this is the aggro variant of this card. But just in time. That's surprising to see. The fact that he, I drew into all of my be prepared was the worst thing to happen.
us here. We are going to desperately be trying to search for our fourth be prepared. So drop the popsicle. Play out Nick to go get the popsicle. Obstacle again. Ink is the one jump ahead. So we can press G here. I think I'm going to shield her to straighten her. Pass. I'll draw four cards off that. So ridiculous. What eleven lore on board? Sending everything at it. Oh, the irony. So we're going to do that. Gonna ink Grimatala. Ready the Queen. Take out both Prince Johns. Do that. Clear most of his board. He has a huge amount of card draw, so we'll see how that goes. But he has a huge amount of cards in hand. We've gotten rid of most of his card draw, and that's going to be a problem unless we get into our Hades, which we could. Oh, or Maleficent. That will work just fine. We'll get rid of the fresh one. the shield because we want to see cards. We'll ink the Noi. We're on plus seven, so we're doing all right. Of course. So he still needs two turns. I don't think we're going to get to use the Fishborn Quill anymore. So we will... Definitely try to take advantage of that. And ink the quill. We're gonna let it go. The evasive. I think we might have swung this game back in our favor. It'll be difficult in his color scheme to get enough 
to remove three lore generation. He's playing Prince John. He probably doesn't have it. He'd have to have the answers in hand and use all seven of his ink. I should have played the symbiote bodyguard. That'll save you. That won't do anything. Yep. GG to our opponent. That was really fun and it should be one of our more difficult matchups. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Illumineers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay up to date on everything Lorcana. I'll see you on the next one.